months. Today, he will be giving a speech from Pathways, level three, persuasive speaking, and telling you about why you should do that thing that you've been avoiding. Please, giving his speech title, Challenge Yourself, either it will go well, or it will be funny. Welcome, <laughs> Postmaster Steve Joseph. Steve. Juliet. Oh, 
that's me. <laughs> I wish I could say that, you know, it's a stunning performance, but I forgot everything. Every single line, no notes. Everyone in the audience is like, <laughs> <laughs> thinking the same thing. Wow, I'm glad I'm not him. <laughs> Rest assured, it was a very humbling experience. Right? It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite philosophers. If you are not humble, life will visit humbleness upon you. I think the same thing can be said about challenges, because whether or not you decide to challenge yourself, life will be rife with challenges waiting for you. I think the biggest challenge in my life came on May 20, or May 17, 2020. I was excited for the next day, ready to begin my first day at a career that I was passionate about. Right, so I was starting my Sunday school at Sunday. So I was starting off as any normal Sunday, and then at Eight o'clock, I get a call from my mom. And she has a lot of trouble with it. Steve, we have a big problem. Too bad I have to explain. Mm -hmm. And I found that course of words particularly interesting. Because, you know, as an IT guy, problem solving is your thing. You get a problem, you diagnose, and you figure out, okay, what's the solution? How do we get the end result for the customer? But this was a case where I don't know if this is going to end up. And I don't know what a good outcome would be. And the only person that would ask for advice is no longer with my friend. Very sad, but I gotta admit, it's, it's hard not to find the irony in that, personally. It's like, okay, you got 30 minutes to describe a lifetime of. Describe a lifetime of something that would help push you, help motivate you, help do everything for the brand. Right, rehearse it in the car, time is ticking, go. Right. And not to lie, that part was pretty straightforward. You know, it wasn't sad to me, but whenever somebody dies, you can always say the same thing over and over again. It's okay, I know how you're feeling, it's okay to feel that, but let's focus on things that we can control, and then we do that and we'll be in place. I said that to my mom.